Hey, it's Holly and um Bruce. He forgot Bruce. his name. His Sorry. name is Bruce. <laughs> I might have put him on the spot there. Anyways, so today, if you guys watched my other video the other day, I bought a yarn ball winder by loops and threads from michaels and today is just going to be kind of like a review and we're going to test it out it's not really going to be a how-to because this thing looks pretty simple if it is really complicated i'll i'll change it up and we'll do a more in depth but i think it's going to be fairly simple my kid's playing with something i'm sorry <laughs> no fidget spinners right now do your kids play with fidget spinners they're all over my house anyways <clears throat> So we're gonna get this guy out of the box. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Sounds this is my helper, cool. my beautiful assistant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just open it, and that's what it looks like in there, guys. Nothing. Not like. Ooh. We'll get the instructions out. At least I think these are. Yeah, these are the instructions. Okay. Okay, so apparently it's much more simpler than I thought. This is it. This is all you get, and this is three different languages. So. Let's see, how to use yarn ball winder. One, securely attach the yarn ball winder to the edge of the counter or table. Two, find the end of the yarn. Three, attach the end of the yarn to the notch in the yarn ball winder. Four, slowly begin winding yarn with the rotating handle. Continue, five, continue winding always in the same direction. Slowly, it says, so slowly, so don't go crazy, people. Six, hold the end of the yarn with one hand. And seven, when complete, cut end. Why are we cutting the end? I don't know. Let's do this. <laughs> you remembered all seven of those, right? No. Oh, man, we're in so much trouble. Okay, so here it is. In the box. Oh, oh. Oh, this is to, to, to. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> I do this chore. I know, this is his chore. <laughs> so this is the little thing that you attach to the table. Shiny. Well, it was the shiny. We love shiny things, don't we? I'm like so easily entertained. Something sparkly or like those little like monkeys that like clap bells. I'm like, oh, no, I'm <sighs> I swear I'm an intelligent person. I just get easily distracted. This is you keep winding that till that's up, and we're just gonna whoop over there because he wants to clean this later. No, right? No. <laughs> Not really. Who thinks he should clean up my mess? I gave him life, so he could clean up a little bit of this. Okay, so. Oh, wait, there's a warning on the bag. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's nothing big. Okay, so this is our little yarn ball winder. Uh, here is obviously where it's going to make your cake of yarn. I do see a notch where it was talking about put the yarn through. Here is your rotating handle that can go either way and I don't think it really matters as long as you keep doing it in the same direction and this is your guide and it kind of bloop bloops back and forth I'll show you if I can't I don't know, like hurt myself with this thing <laughs> so that's that and then there's a hole and you again this was not in the instructions but I guess you just through there and then onto your table so let's but before we do that I got two stories I want to tell you, and it involves the yarn we're going to do. This is the yarn. Um, and so the two stories are my two funny Amish stories. And the first one's going to be about this yarn. So here in Michigan, we live in the um, southwest part of Michigan. And there's a lot of Amish. Central. South Central. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I live I live here. <laughs> if you know anything about Michigan, I live here. Or is it? Is it this way? Yeah, here we go, this way. <laughs> no, is it backwards? Yeah. Man. <laughs> the camera's backwards. But on camera, it would probably be this one, because it's no, back. On camera, it's still this one? <sighs> Who let the blonde run the show? <laughs> Anyways. So we live in Michigan. <clears throat> Lots of Amish everywhere. It's adorable with their little buggies. Well, anyways, a couple years ago, we was out yard sailing which is, yeah, yeah, some people call them garage sales, but we only call it a garage sale if it's actually in a garage here. So this was a yard sale or a lawn sale. I don't call them lawn sale. sale. It, was, it, was a, it was in a barn, actually. It was a barn. barn. You're getting, you're ruining the story. <laughs> okay. So I don't have a co-host. Anyways, <clears throat> we're out driving and we're on a back road and I'm thinking we're on our way home and I'm like, okay, we're not going to find nothing out here. It's the middle of nowhere. And all of a sudden we see a sign. It says yard sale. And we're like, follow the sign. 
the signs leading us like way down into the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, this is where axe murder movies start, where you follow a sign into this like desert place and your car breaks down and then you die. But turns out it was a yard sale at an Amish house, which like blew my mind. I didn't even know they could, they had yard sales, but they did. And it was this massive barn filled with all kinds of, they had a sewing machine. And I was like, does it work? And they were like, we don't know. We never plugged it in. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that was kind of a stupid question on my <laughs> They don't have electricity. Anyways, so they had a ton of stuff, and they had buckets and buckets of yarn. And I was like, well, I'm into this. So I bought this in a blue and a green. And I wasn't even thinking when I bought it. I just thought it was cool, and I bought like five or six skeins of each of it. Um, I cannot, well, I will attempt. And please, please do not get mad. I don't speak. This says it was made in West Germany and everything on this package. I have no idea about anything on this package except for where it says made in West Germany because it's all in German. And even though I am of German descent, I don't speak German. So it's like Stufen Sonic 100, I don't know, we're not even gonna go there, but it's like this crazy German yarn and it's in a hank. So I obviously need to make it into a ball if I'm gonna use it. So we're going to use this today on the yarn ball winder. But on another quick rabbit trail, I have one other really funny Amish story. And we were on our way to town. It was so funny. <laughs> and we're going by this Amish house. No, we're on our way home from town. We go by this Amish house. Amish house. Boop, boop. Can't talk today. Anyways. And their cows were out. Like two or three cows were out. And my husband, he grew up on like a farm. So he's like, well, you got to get those back in because if they cause damage, you know, whatever. So he stops and he's trying to shoo some cows in. Well, we notice the whole herd, which was like a couple hundred cows were coming from the back, like their back gate had been unlocked and these cows are coming and they're coming fast. And there's two dogs sitting by the gate and the front gate's open and the dogs are barking like they want to eat my husband, but my husband's trying to shut the gate so the cows don't get out and he gets it shut just in time. I have a video clip. If I get a chance at the end of this video, I will insert the clip of the cows just coming everywhere. I don't know if I can find it, but if I can, it will be at the end of this. And he gets the gate shut just in time. The dog doesn't bite him and all the cows. There's like a hundred cows, at least a hundred, yeah. maybe 200 in the front yard of this Amish house, right? And we're all in the minivan except for my husband. Well, next thing we know, right when he shuts the gate, here comes the buggy with the nice Amish couple. And, you know, he goes and talks to them and, um, the, he's talking to the husband and then the wife comes to my window and she's so nice and we just chit chat and it was great. So we get ready to leave. And our van won't turn on. <laughs> like, just out of nowhere, it's dead. And so we're sitting there freaking out because my parents had just went back home and they live two hours away and his mom doesn't have a car. So we're sitting here thinking like, okay, what are we going to do? Our van's dead in the middle of the country at an Amish house. And the nice Amish gentleman comes out and offers us a jump. And we're like, okay, well, that's weird. But they apparently have, they're allowed to have like batteries, just not like cars i don't i don't know so anyways the moral of the story or the point of the story is is we got jumped by the amish which i tell that story all the time i'm like the jamish the jamish that's all right i don't know what's wrong with me i really don't but the amish jumped us which is so funny and the cows there was lots of cows and the dogs i swear the dogs look like they wanted to kill my husband they were like they snarling but they wouldn't leave their spot at the tree they were not tied down but they were smart they were sitting there because he had to go kind of up in the yard to get back anyways that was a really long rabbit trail we're talking about yarn i'm sorry but i had to share that that was funny who we got jumped by the amish okay people Amish jumpings. Anyways. Okay. For some reason, my, my drawers on my desk are all out. I can't do nothing. All right. I'm going to come to the side a little here. Can you still see me? Do I look great? Okay. Here we go. All right. Insert. And we're going to put it on the desk here. Which way do I wind it? Which way is lefty at this angle? <laughs> Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Am I lefty loosey-ing this? No. <laughs> Maybe. You're not being a very good co-host. You're righty. Why don't you tell a story? You entertain the people. Okay. Story. No story. <laughs> that is not true. This is my son, <clears throat> Bruce, and he talks a lot. Like, if you think I talk a lot, <laughs> take a ride with him. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. All, like, when he was little and I used to work, um, I would drive. It was like a half an hour drive to daycare. And 
the entire time it was just did it did it did it did it and i would get to daycare and i'd drop him off and i'd get in the car because then i had another 15 minute ride to work and i would sit there and be like how did we get from where we started to where we ended and i would have to spend that 15 minutes backtracking the conversation because his stories just run together and he was five then and he's 11 good now and it's good and tight he's 11 now and talks just as much as he always did he's just being all shy look at these cute little dimples anyways he, talks more now. <laughs> he does talks more now it's crazy his dad and me are like please please mm -hmm. be quiet <laughs> all right anyway so we're gonna rip open our german yarn and here it is <clears throat> it's a big old hank of yarn let's see if we can <laughs> locate the center <laughs> oh, okay yeah, you gotta do your job. Let's see. I probably should have had this all prepped. I feel like I feel like I'm slacking. <laughs> okay, so it's tied. So I do have to get in here. And okay, you guys know my big pretty flower scissors I always have? Well, my kids have taken all my scissors. So I am left with these little collapsible ugh, janky little scissors here. This is what I got. I know where scissors are. You know where they're not? in my drawer where they belong <laughs> i don't know i guess i just cut this Ugh. one of these ends is going to be right and the other one is not let's see what happens if we pull it okay that seems to be right all right he is my yarn holder okay you got it yeah. because i bought a yarn ball winder and not a yarn swift so <laughs> Who needs a Swift when you have kids? <laughs> so you have to feed this through the, did that wrong. I got to get it coming out of that hole. Well, I'll just go through it like this. We could try to do it. Though. And then let me roll this up. You have to put this through this little groove here. Now the thing said to just turn it in the same direction. It did not say right or left. So I'm just going to turn, well, apparently not going to turn it that way because that did not work at all. <laughs> So I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to kind of hold it a little here. And which way do I got to turn to get it go that way? That way? Is that what I want to do? Did it work? Am I supposed to hold this? I don't no, know, because it's like, turn. it's getting tangled. So I guess we're just going to, and we're going to just go here. And he said to go, the string. oh, <laughs> Bruce, you're the worst yarn swift hey. I've ever seen. <laughs> You're a whore. He's a horrible yarn swift. Yeah, you're getting hit in the Oh, we got a knot. This is not the machine's fault. This is the 11 year old's fault. No, the machine's Wait, fault. Wait, is that the way I was spinning it? Yes. No. See, look, see? Peanut gallery. Mm. Does anybody, is it picking up my dog growling out the window? This video is a hot <clears throat> mess. Oh my goodness. Oh, be a professional, Holly. Make videos on YouTube. Yeah, no, I just look like an idiot because my dog won't stop growling. I can't figure out how to work a yarn swift. It's her. I don't have a yarn swift. I have a kid. What is going on here? Okay, well, we're just going to have to work with this. So wait, this way. Round and round and round we go. Just try to make it work for us, okay? There we go. We got it now. We got it. If my yarn, my yarn swift is... Am I going too slow? We're going to have to fast forward this portion. <laughs> <laughs> now maybe we'll make it work anyways this is how it works apparently apparently if you have a yarn swift does anybody know what a yarn swift is it's like this big umbrella looking thing that you um yeah it probably would you would not get knots if you had a yarn wait that's wrong too remember you would think it's easy to remember which direction you're spinning this but turns out it's not <laughs> I don't know if it's making a good cake or not, but we've got to do this whole, oh, that's wrong, this whole thing. So let's, all right. Like this whole thing? Sorry, guys. We're, oh, no. We did something wrong. Pull that back out. There we go. Okay, wait. No, this way. All right. All right. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> this is the last time I have a co-host. This is it. A bad one. <laughs> I don't know, but he's pretty cute. So we'll keep him, I suppose. Chris, you're killing me. Put it up on your hands. Put your yeah, thumb like that. That's okay. That Keep way. your fingers up a little more. There we go. Wait, no. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm about to just throw it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to get even more knots. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, here. Let's do this. It's stuck in the Let's finger. just, let's pull some off. Pull, pull, pull. This is a lot of yarn. 
I kind of figured we'd be done by now. <laughs> and funny enough, I've actually made balls out of some of this yarn already, but I did not have a yarn ball winder, so I just hand wound them. And this is exactly what we did. He held the yarn and I did this and he kept messing it up and I kept yelling. And then, you know, this is a mother-son thing that we do. I yell at him because he can't get the yarn off his hands correctly. He slows down my process. Just can't get it off. Just gonna yank it off. <laughs> Anyways, the Bruce house of your life. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible, wow. Anything new you want to tell the people? No. No, you don't want to talk to the people? Oh, it's... The people are nice, I promise. They've always been nice to me. <clears throat> Nobody's been mean. We don't have any mean people in the proper pineapple posse. <laughs> <laughs> or should we be a group, a club? Are we just pineapple people? Is that what we are? <laughs> the proper pineapple people? We're all nice here. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm going to stop talking. And we're going to fast forward this section and make this yarn ball pretty darn quick. So, see you in a minute. Okay, sorry about that. We had to cut because it took a little longer and I got a big knot. So I had to fix that. So we're at the almost end here. All right, ready, Bruce? We're going to get the last of it. Whoop. I cut your tail. And then it says cut. I don't know if it means this. I don't really know why you have to cut. I don't really see because I think this is it. So I think now because it does not tell you. Didn't tell you in this. Had seven instructions. Didn't tell you how to get this off. But I assume you just slide it off. Oh, look at it. And look, this would be my center pole. And this is my outside pole. Um, is it the nicest cake of yarn I've ever seen? No. no but, but for, uh, like I said, I got it half off of $30. So like, a, well, I got it more than half off because I got 60% off of $29.95. So around under $15, I got this guy. This is pretty good, right, Bruce? Yeah. Now, we did have a lot of complications, but they are all Yarn Swift related. If you have a Yarn Swift or a competent 11-year-old, <laughs> I'm kidding. You did fine. Give me a hug. I didn't. It was horrible. You're my favorite 11-year-old. You should have sold all the stitches I dropped. But I it was, I mean, it works out great. Look at this. This is nice. And like, where'd it go? Here you go. My center pole. I could pull right from the center, just like you would a Karen cake or something. Or if you have like one of those, like a spit <laughs> or spit that you just stand on to, a yarn holder. You can just put that on there and you can pull from the outside and it will twist right up. So I'm pretty excited because now all of my um, scrappity scrap yarn, I'm going to put into yarn cakes because look at how nicely this sits. Just, is that on camera? There it goes. Just <laughs> sitting. I don't have a ball. I, I think I've said this in a video or two. My house is lopsided. So when you set a ball on this, it goes whoop or whoop or whoop. Whichever way the house is leaning that day <laughs> rolls away. So what do you think of it, Bruce? Do you think it was worth the money? Yes, I would. Do you think? <laughs> Tried to jank my arm right in front of me. I don't know who raised him. <laughs> no, oh, wait, it was me. I told him to do that. Anyways, um, <coughs> do you think this was a better uh, product than when we tried the Loops and Threads knitting machine? Yeah. This was better? This was way like, easier. The knitting machine <laughs> was like, I'll put, uh, there'll be a link <coughs> up there. The knitting machine was super, super complicated. And then once you got the hang of it, it just broke. Just like it took forever to get the hang, and then it was like, oh, never mind, break. <laughs> so, didn't like that. This I love. I don't really see much that could break. I mean, obviously, your little spinning. I'm talking. Why is it making a noise? <laughs> because it's a $16 yarn ball winder. It's not, you know, a Lamborghini. It's not going to be quiet. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. This video is a hot mess, guys. I'm sorry. My channel's going downhill. I can't stop going off on rabbit trails subpar guest on the show. I don't know what to do. I'm kidding. Look at his face. Look at how cute he is. Look at the camera. The camera. <laughs> Give him the baby blues. <laughs> Look at his face. All right. <coughs> all right. Here. Ready? We're going to say goodbye now. Do you remember how I say goodbye? Can you tell them all the stuff I say? Go ahead. You do it. Okay. So look at the camera and tell them goodbye. Bye. That's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. If you have this yarn ball winder, <coughs> let me know what you think of it down in the comments. If you have a better yarn ball winder, because this, 
that was pretty full with just this one skein. And I don't, again, I have no idea how, how much this is because everything on that label was German. <laughs> they didn't have any numbers. So I couldn't just look and guess. I have no idea. But I would suspect this is about a, a regular fingering weight skein of yarn. So, well, actually it was a hank of yarn, but either way. And now it's a cake of yarn. Anyways, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you couldn't get a lot on here. So I, I would like to upgrade to something a little bigger in the future. This is going to be fine for right now, but something bigger. So if you know of a good one that's not like $8,000, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. What's our Facebook group? Um, the Proper Pineapple? <laughs> Do you hear him? Group. He's just like always oh, praying about her No, it's, it's the, the Proper Pineapple, pineapple Crochet <laughs> Group on Facebook. <clears throat> also, there is a Ravelry group, the Proper Pineapple, over there. And we are having um, um, a shawl kale that's ending like in the next day or two. So if you've made a shawl, get in there, post that picture, get into that contest. Mm -hmm. There's also, <laughs> what are the other two cows we're having? Um... The granny square. One. A grant well it's a it's a scrappy <laughs> blanket. So like granny squares or any I'm making a mitered square blanket, but that's going all the way till December thirty first and we're also making what's the other one? Michelle. <laughs> I'm giving them so many opportunities to succeed. No I'm just kidding. Don't okay. Know. Socks. We're making socks. And that goes all oh, year yeah. too. And there will be prizes. But anyways, the March one's ending soon. Get in on that one. There's also the giveaway, right? They should go check out the March giveaway. And then there's also, what's the other giveaway we're having right now? Um, the 5,000 subscriber You gotta giveaway. talk loud. loud. 5,000 fi subscriber giveaway! <laughs> there we go. There's a video up on that. Go check <coughs> that out. You can win stuff. And then what's next month? Your birthday. That's not how you say it. Your birthday! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. You're my favorite. Man. Next, get off me. <laughs> My chair is a rolly chair, and I my feet don't reach the ground. I'm just like, so it like pushes me everywhere. So don't push me away. <laughs> Next month is my birthday. Say it with me. Your birthday? No, it's my it's birthday. birthday. <laughs> and is the giveaway going to be tiny? Tiny. Or is it going to be huge? We only give you scraps of yarn. You have scraps of yarn. That's all we're giving away. Scraps. <laughs> like, here we go. Just cut off a little piece. We'll just be like... Mm. Giveaway. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's going to be a huge giveaway. You've got to go check that out. In April, I have so many fun things going on. So share this channel with your friends. And if you are not, I don't know why you're not, but if you are not, subscribe to this channel. Where do they need to hit? Where's the pineapple? I believe it's on this side. That's right. The pineapple. Pineapple's up here. Not in my face. <laughs> it's the up pineapple. Here. Hit the pineapple. All right, ready? Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>